everybody, it's Eric Johnson, and in today's video, we are going to look at something that you can probably relate to. This is a video for young throwers and coaches when you're coaching an athlete that is super active with the upper body. By that, I mean they're too active, they're opening up, they're leading the throw, and what they're doing is, is they're losing all of the power and sling that we would want to get in the discus. Now, you can do the same thing in the shot, but in this particular case, working with a young athlete, she actually moves pretty well, but she's so active with the upper body that the sequence is totally out and this is going to be a longer process to correct so it's one of these things that just takes patience and time and it will get a lot better but you have to be focusing on it so we're going to take you inside a training session so hopefully you enjoy and can relate and find some value so check it out okay so why that's going to be bad and you're going to screw up your back right there. So see what you're doing? There's no angle on your lower body. Up, lower body stays here and you're doing this. You're not moving everything like this. That's the position you're supposed to be in. Closer. Getting center of mass and dropping on it is very different than starting here and pushing here. Okay, they look the same, they're not. So set it, yep. Okay, put it down, yeah. See, wait, wait, see how you're bending over? I wind, there's no bending. I wind because in the throw I would come here and I would come to this point, you see that? And I'd be pulling here. Wait, see that? No, 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 stretch this. Open your left foot. Now, you see how the difference in your lower body is? You're doing, see where your shoulders are? So watch, this is what you've been doing. You're not creating tension. That was closer. Okay, so why that's gonna be bad and you're gonna screw up your back. You think throwing is this. Now look where my hips are. There's no way you can get your hip ahead of that. You need to stop your arm here and throw. Wind. Okay, you see what you're doing? This, look where your shoulders are. This is where you're at. Your chest is never over here. Look at the difference. That's freaking massive. Do you see that? So now, bend your knee, open this leg. Oh, your knees and your hips moving into the throw now. Look, oh yeah, go, 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 go. Now see how your shoulder's coming up? Arm here, stop, do not move it. This moves everything. Okay, keep turning. That's what you're not doing. Smooth. That's better. Push your hips back. Feel how you're loaded? Now you can push and pull. Just pull it. So that was better. Okay, so you're so used to pulling this shoulder. That's a nightmare problem. See how, see this is, this is the thing I gotta get you out of. You have your arm basically like this you're by default pulling your shoulder back. So you've got to keep your arm stretched, not, do you feel the difference? This is, a, this is, little stuff like this is what people miss. It was a little better, but you did the, the, the wind up is incorrect. That was a better one, look at the difference. Look at the difference, so much better. Feels much better, right? Yeah. 